Pioneer. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, I'm going over who are going to be my starting commanders for next season. I'm going to be playing King of Men. Um, basically, I've been doing the last two days a lot of tests and that, so it'll be a lot of PvP battles that you'll see here. Getting my commanders prepared and my lineup ready for King of Men. It's going to be very interesting and a lot of new different content because it's going to be non-roleplay. And we're going to be using mixed troops and that. Yes, I will be using evil troops and stuff like that. Um, you'll be seeing I'm going to be using some Gandalfs because they work really good with evil units. I have some really um, good ideas and stuff like that. So I'm going to talk about them um, and show my commanders how they're going and stuff and... The builds and everything and then show you some tests that I've been doing and everything. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So I'm going to have a, a top six uh, starting lineup and they are going to consist of Isildur, who I've completely changed his gear since the last time you see me. So I'm going to be running um, a lot of fire protection because I feel like if we're versing a lot of evil, we're going to be versing a lot of uh, fire damage next season, so definitely going to be you running that. Um, I've then gone with Hysteria for more madness, and then I've gone with Pursuit in case we um, bump into any mm, like Gilgalads and stuff like that. There, like Pursuit, you don't really need for the evil side, but um, you will see like this is really good against Gilgalads and that. But I also do have a backup as well um, of Bane of Orcs here as well that I can switch around. So this is more of the good build, but I would switch that over to the Bane of Orcs when versing evil. Um, Gilgalad, my gear is not that good with him, but um, I will be using him a little bit later um, as soon as I unlock the Elven units and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he's not too bad and stuff like that. He's pretty like, hmm, he's alright. Also, I just wanted to show you with my sealed door as well with the skilling. Um, I am going with the madness um, route build at the moment. So that's how I'm running him. Um, yeah, and this Gilgalad, I'm kind of over him a bit now. But he's just there because I've got him and i got gear on him. The big boy that I'm going to be running this season, who I'm starting to get some really good results with, is uh, King Aragorn. Now, I am almost only need two more respect items to respect 15, so that's a very solid. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't have cleave at the moment. I've been trying to get one for ages. Um, i got a little holiday coming up, and that's I haven't spent any money on the game for quite a while. Uh, I've been saving for that. But I've just got panic on there for the time being. Um, I'm running the quilted armor just because it's probably the best thing that I've got there at the moment. Uh, that I want on him and it does give fo focus damage reduction so that can be useful if I bump into some Sarons and stuff like that But it also helps a lot versus Gandalfs and that on the good side. I'm running the cast of Warcry I really want to try to get melee suppression on this um, So we'll have to see what happens there and I really need to try to get a gift of nature and draft But as you can see 431 uh, might there and we're only level 46 not even Mac yet uh, if we have a look, this is my skilling that I've been running, and I tell you now, this is the best skilling um, you can possibly do for Aragorn King of Men. Absolutely amazing. Early game, I will use his healing, but yeah, PvP, this build uh, lately has been absolutely fantastic. Like, really good. Like, I reckon I could get him to 500 might um, with a, a bit more points on Strider and that, which I can, which I have five more points pretty much that I could use on him. But he's going to be really good. I'll show you some results in a moment. I am then going to be running Gandalf the Grey, guys. Um, so we have a gigantic hammer here with Frenzy. I'd love to be able to refine this up a little bit more. We are then running the Elven Cloak with Hazard Training. We then have Agius um, with the Hunter's Guide. And then I just unlocked his Wizard Smoking Pipe today. Um, and I will be refining this up because I will be actually breaking down... Theoden Sword at the end of this season in a couple of days when I get my um, crafting hammers and stuff like that. So this will get refined up and help him a lot. Uh, my skill build will vary between good and evil. This is more my good um, build that I'm battling with at the moment. Um, with evil and stuff, I would probably take the fleeting points off and have more points into Champion of Light. 
um, for example. And then I usually take a couple of points off here and max out Heil Alert. And that's how I run him with a skilling. But yeah, um, I'll show you some results with him in a moment. I versed um, a really decent um, commander of Isildur before and actually beat him. So yeah, um, beating Isildur's with Gandalf. And um, you will see um, really good results. And I was... I've got to work more with his troops, but you'll see that I'm using like a full mounted build with him. Um, but yeah, there will be changes um, made with troops and that I have to do a bit of more meddling with him. Um, also, yeah, with Gandalf and that while we're on him, um, we're going to be using things like evil units on him. He works really good with trolls, but obviously the evil side's reapers are amazing. As well as the Morgul Oblist Archers. Um, they all work fantastic on the Gandalfs. Um, the next one that I'm going to be running is Faramir. Who's almost respect level 21. Uh, this is my gear setup I got for him. So we're doing quite nicely here. We've got Pierce um, for example. We've got his cape which is amazing. Um, but the big thing is. How am I going to be running him next season with troop build? So I've been doing a couple little tests, which you'll probably see in a moment in that. Um, he does quite well, but he lacks with HP, which is a problem with him. So if I could ever pull another like couple of HP items and could work something into him, he does struggle with HP, but you will see he does do well no matter what. Um, now basically I've got um, stun, uh, sorry not stun, madness immunity on him. His skill build is pretty simple. It's just pretty straight up. You just follow the points and stuff like that. Um, if I need pursuit, I can switch it around and stuff like that. I've got this dragon tooth on here with um, against enemy melee units, which is really good because I use all archers. But yeah, with the troop um, skilling and building I'm going to be using with Faramir, um, I'm definitely going to be using the Swan Knights for defense. Um, and then definitely the tier 3 sharpshooters. And then I'm thinking about using the Morgul Oblist uh, archers with their follow-up. So that's going to be really interesting to see how we do there. Um, and then the last one, guys. We're going to be bringing back Gandalf the White. I haven't used him for quite many seasons now. I have him at a decent respect level 11. Um, and some fantastic news as well before I go through his gear. Even though this carver's all good... I have reached the ability to unlock um, Glamdring very soon. I just need five more, so a couple more days of buying these, and I'll be able to get this. And this will be getting added to my Gandalf the White, who has some pretty fantastic gear build set up here. So we do have the Plate of Citadel with Resilience of Men. I'm then running a Bone Mask, um, which unfortunately I don't have like the added focus um, damage or anything like that at the moment, so I just got Manipulate on that. So hopefully they can maybe pull another bone mask or something and do something there. And then we've got the uh, Miras Reigns with Furious Cavalry, which were mounted units, um, which each round, 50% chance of stun and madness immunity. They're going to be really good um, because we're going to be running him in a full uh, mounted build uh, setup. Um, we'll have a look at some of the troop setups I've got at the moment. Some of them are a little bit in a mess at the moment because I'm low on troops. For example, I usually have sharpshooters and that on Faramir here. Um, but I'm quite low. His seal door, I've just mixed up and changed it a little bit. Um, I'm starting to use a bit more archers in that now, so I want to try out this one. But you'll see some PvPs in that in a moment. They will be different. King Aragorn, this is my favorite build for him at the moment. Um, especially if you bump into Gilgalad and such. Um, I love running some dunes on there. 500 of these, just as a little bit of a tanky buffer. And then at least 4,000 plus of the Guardmen. I, I do use about 3,000 or so in some PvP battles that you'll see. My Gilgalad, um, I'm running it a little bit differently with his skill build. Because um, I'm using the melee counter. So I'm using the two melee with the Keepers and Heralds there. Uh, and then Gandalf the Great at the moment, I've got all of the um, mounted and one of each different race. Um, for his pipe to kick in. And that's pretty much it for the troop setups and that for them. Let's go have a look at some PvP battles now. We've got quite a few to go through just to show you. So we're going to go these into PvP. Some of them you may think are bad, but you need when I break it down, you'll see what I mean. So as you can see, we've got Arag King Aragorn here, which I had the build of 3,600 of these guys. 
going up against a level 50 Gandalf the White, which I must say is a very fantastic, like, critical care. Like, this is a very strong Gandalf the White here. Um, and as you can see, we've done very well. Um, doing about 200,000 damage after his healing to our 132,000. Um, so it does really well there. Now, this family here, you're going to be like, oh, you lost. But you need to look at the HP differences. Now, this Dwalin is very nice with a, an insane frenzy gigantic hammer. As you can see, very strong, very decently respected. Um, but if you have a look at the breakdowns, we did quite well. After our healing, we only took about 220,000 damage, which was our uh, uh, total amount of HP. But we nearly did the amount of same damage there, so that was nearly an even exchange there. That's why the only problem with Faramir is HP. But with adding um, Swan Knights and that in here, he's going to get a bigger HP buff in that. And I think I can get him up into the 260,000th of HP in that um, in Kings of Mem. Um, this victory here, we did really well. You can see that um, Aragorn does fantastically with this build against Gilgalads. Um, and you can see this is quite a nice, decent um, Gilgalad as well. Um, with his R5 build, it comes in very good. Um, we did this battle here where I tested the seal door, um, a bit of a weird, um, troop build, I was low on troops, but I just wanted to see how he would do against this level 48 Dane, which is very strong, um, and if you have a look at the breakdown, it's not too bad, we did, still did 220,000 damage to a level 48 Dane, um, I do want to run this, um, battle back with more of a range build on him, which I might be doing later on. Um, have a look at some other builds, we're just scrolling through and stuff like that, some victories. We, uh, a guy attacked me with Gandalf the Grey there, we wiped the floor with that. Um, uh, Maya Sealdor, this is how I usually run him, um, with the Rangers and the Dunes. And I bumped into, well this guy actually attacked me, and I absolutely really did really well there against Watsos, which you can see I definitely had a bit of better gear than him. Uh, let's have a look at this build here, which was my Gilgalad. Oh, I was already damaged there. Alright, so this was my first battle with Gandalf uh, the Grey, where I got attacked by this Isildur here, which is quite nice. Uh, pretty decently geared. He's not R5 though, which is the, probably the only problem. Um, but otherwise, not too bad. But we did quite well there. But we definitely need to meddle around. With this troop build and that and see if we can come up with some different things. Uh, especially like with evil and stuff using dunes on him will be very nice. Uh, my Gilgalad versus the, another Gilgalad there. So we had another uh, battle here with Faramir. But as you can see, I only had 200 something thousand HP and I was using tier 2s. But look at this. This is a level 50 with cleave. Really strong Warborn battle plate. Like this is a really good... Uh, King Aragorn guys and as you can see if you have a look at the breakdown we actually out damaged and actually won this battle um, Even though we did lose um, and we were four levels lower so Faramir can be quite good It's just HP is a problem with him the same with like Elrond um, I do have a couple more battles down here just scrolling through see what else we can see we got a draw down here um, so, oh yeah, this was a battle where I went against Niels Arwen, which is insanely strong, maxed out level. I'm not sure what respect level he was. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. I received 130,000 to his 230,000, but he did do 87,000 healing. Um, let's have a look here. A couple more draws. We went up um, with this Asildor build here um, against this Gilgalad, which I was running Pursuit to see what it would be like. And I went against um, one of the best um, Gilgalads in the server. So this battle here is when I was using Faramir as a little bit more of a buffer. To think like, pretend these were like the Swan Knights using some Ents. We had 217,000 HP. But as you can see guys, if you ever look at the breakdown. We actually did win this battle after the healing. We did beat a level 48 Dwalin. Um, so we did quite well there. Which was pretty decently geared as well. Um, this was here when we was, I was trying to learn more and stuff like that. So you can see, I improved every time with um, King Aragorn versus Gilgalads. Um, but yeah, we did quite well. A um, couple of other things. Oh, this was just against like, Kieran and stuff like that here. I think that was just a, a bot and stuff like that. 
but I think you get the idea and stuff like you can see like um, there was a lot of like testing in that but um, after a lot of testing I changed up the troops and that you can see my reports gradually got better and better over over all the amount of time but yeah guys um, I'm gonna wrap up the video there I, know, I, I can see there's a lot of armies here I might go get into some PvP battles um, and stuff like that and things but yeah I'm gonna wrap up the video there we'll be starting King of Men in just a day or two guys um, so yeah um, we're gonna wrap up the video there and until next time peace out EJ's out and I'll catch you guys later see ya's Thousands of the EJU